<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Knights of Horror, and more specifically, welcome back to Knights of Horror Fact or Fiction. We're here with Logan. The uh, one and only. I'm going to uh, redeem myself this time. You're going to redeem yeah. yourself, man. I'm going to redeem it. I, I failed miserably last time. I don't think aliens are my are my cup of tea. So, Anthony, what do you got for me today? We got some of the best paranormal I can find on the internet. The best. But the, it, the best. Well, okay, in this category, because I was going to say, but how much do you like dogs? I love dogs. Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Jumps up. <laughs> um, okay, so today we're going to look at paranormal videos that are caught on camera, but it was a dog's reaction. Now, we all know with paranormal things uh you know animals have the ability to kind of see in like a fifth dimension of some sorts they can see like the two uh the two dimensions they're like the in between man so we we notice when in, in paranormal videos when animals start acting funny or barking for no reason or just you know stuff like that something in the house is not right um so today's top five we got uh, we are going to be looking at dogs reacting to these ghosts. So that's why I asked if you're a dog person. And I clearly, I knew that, but had to, had to make sure the audience knew that. All right, Logan. So are you ready to see dogs see ghosts? Yes. <laughs> so in this video. <laughs> am I ready I think... to see, wait a minute, hang on. Am I ready to see dogs see ghosts? <laughs> Try to say that 10 times fast. Are you? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> That's not fair, man. Um, anyway, uh, so I, from what I've seen in this uh, video, uh, you will see like you'll you know you'll start to see. So like, you won't just see the dog see it. Like obviously, you'll start maybe seeing a couple things too. So it's just your job to break it down if it's fact or fiction. Gotcha. All right, here we go. Video number one. All right, Logan, video number one, dog looking at the reflection, walks away, reflection's still there, but he's gone. Uh, what do you make of this, man? As I said in uh, the alien video, I, I, I'm a believer. I, I, I want to believe in, in all of this, especially paranormal stuff, but I call BS on this one. I call Explain. BS on this one. I call it because... Um, to me, it just looks like another freaking dog. <laughs> like it, it's a it's a sliding glass. It looks like it's like a sliding glass door. And, uh, there's just another dog staring at the other dog. The dog walks away. You just see the other dog in the sliding glass door. I mean, it just to me that's what it looks like. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be surprised. Doesn't bring it to fact though that the dogs looked exactly the same. You could yeah, you could have a pair of you could have brother or sister. You could have the same breed. I mean, I'm I don't. It's very possible. Very possible, man. All right, that's that's video number one. Well, we'll find out at the end if you were right or wrong. I gotta add to get paper. Right, this is like the nearest paper I found. Um, uh, to redeem myself, dude. It's the redeem round, the redemption round of Logan. All right, Logan. I'm going after Sammy. I don't know how many you got, but I'm going after Sammy. Going after Sammy. Why don't you just go after the whole crew, bro? No, Sammy is my target. <laughs> I think he's got like four, maybe three. So, oh wow. Let's see. All right, all right. Video number two, man. You got the uh, the first one. You're deeming fiction. Let's see what the second video brings to us, man.
All right, Logan. Video number two, man. The dog is seeing some weird stuff in the backyard in the middle of the night. Blinds are moving. Shadows are showing. Freaking lights are going ape shit. What, what do you make of this, man? What do I make of this? I'm very skeptical on this. As a believer, I've been, as a believer of this stuff, I've been really skeptical um, of these videos. Um, I feel bad because, like, I want to say, yeah, but, like, I'm also thinking, is it just some like dick dog owner just messing with his dog you know and trying to get it on camera and i just thought it was you know at the end of the video when you see the blinds kind of going up slowly you know uh, to me this was really convenient that you couldn't see that dark corner of the room looks like you know you someone could have definitely been over there lifting them up i don't know and then looks like some kind of sensor outside or some kind of light where owner could have just been turning it you know on and off i don't know I feel like if it was a real ghost video, we might get a better, clearer angle. At least I know if I was trying to capture a ghost, I'd, I'd try to make it look, or not make it look, but, you know, try to try to get this thing from a good angle. If I was really seeing a ghost, like, I don't know. It just looked really convenient. I'm going to say no. You're going fiction then, huh? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say fiction. And I'm probably going to be wrong, but I'm just going to say it fiction. Two for two on the fictions, man. All right. So let's go to this next video, uh, video number three. Let's check it out. <laughs> All right, Logan, video number three, man. We see this ghost just flying uh, into these dogs. What do you think? Videos are killing me. Um, at first, I thought it was fake. Uh, it, it looked um, looked kind of dumb, honestly. I'm like, oh, that looks terrible. But then I'm, I, I, the more I paid attention and how it replayed, I noticed that the dogs were, you know, they were specifically staring at this thing. And um, I, I don't know if I don't... I think what we're seeing on the camera might look a little different to the dogs in person, if that makes sense. Like, I'm like, I, I know in like some old photographs, like they, you know, you can kind of capture ghosts on photographs and sometimes they look like orbs and like little blurs. And uh, obviously that's not what they're looking like in person. It's just what the camera is capturing. So I think the dogs are really seeing something and that's, that's a fictional, I'm sorry. It's a non-fictional video. It's factual. Um, but um, I just think that the, the dogs are seeing something a little, a little creepier, a little more out there than what we're seeing on the camera. So yeah, I, I, I'd say it's factual. Factual. I like that word, man. I hear that a lot. Factual. Actual factual. I I just made it up. It's the Logan. I'm gonna make a T-shirt out of it and everything. Logan thinks factual. Logan thinks factual. Um. All right. Let's check out video number four, man. Logan, video number four, this dog going ape shit barking at a cemetery. What do you think, man? No, I think it's factual. Um, I was paying attention to the way or to where exactly the dog was barking and for the majority of the video he's barking at one spot near that pillar. Sometimes he'll kind of go off, but it looks like he, it's, it's almost like he's like, hey, look. <laughs> yeah, he's a couple times it's just like he's barking up a storm at the specific spot and then like twice I think he like looks over here. But for the for the majority of it, he's um, he's he's staying consistent on where he's barking, and it's a cemetery. So, I mean, I'm I, I'll, I'll believe that. Yeah, factual. All right, man. Factual. Factual it is. Uh, let's let's head to our final video for the episode. Uh, let's go check that out right now. Yeah.
Logan, video number five, man. These two dogs. I mean, we saw a lot of evidence, man. There was a door that just came open. Uh, yeah. Music got distorted. Video camera got distorted. Paper towels went flying. Dogs barking. What do you make of this, man? So, side note, everyone. Uh, Anthony was really re was was really creeped out watching that watching that video, and I started singing uh, some Tiny Tim from uh, Insidious that tipped us to the garden. He just started getting, he just started panicking. I wish, I wish you guys could have seen it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He didn't freak out that bad. Um, no, um, I, I'm gonna go total fact on that one. That that, that looked real. The, I would say out of all of them, that one looked the most real. Interesting, interesting. All right, all five videos have been tallied up, man. Let's see what happens here this week on Nights of Horror Factor Fiction. Let's go back and check out these videos again real quick. Number one was the dog looking at a reflection, but the reflection staying there and the dog walking away. You deem this fiction? This is indeed fiction. Is it what I think? Is it another it dog? It is exactly what you think. Another dog is outside. Everyone in the comments believes it. No one believes that that was its own reflection. So... Video number one, you got right. It's one, Sammy. One. Video number two. The dog looking outside in the backyard, the lights going ape shit, the blinds going up. You deem this fiction. Oh, it's fact. You're going to say fact. But it is indeed fact. Really? Uh, yeah, how do, because... How do you know? Did they call a damn Ghostbuster? I don't know. I read the comments. <laughs> you know, it's the best you're going to get to oh, people man. figuring it out and breaking it down. But... Uh, the fact that uh, this dog is really just focusing outside and your theory of, of, of potentially someone being right there onto the right, I would think if there was someone there, and this is something I actually read too, if someone was there, that dog would be focusing a lot of attention on that area too. Um, the lights going on back and forth, man. I mean, usually these are like censored lights it looks like. So someone running across and running back I think would be able to see that. We didn't see anybody. The blinds moving up on their on themselves. Like, honestly, if it was a regular person, I mean, it, it's pretty hard to do blinds at some points, um, depending how old they are. The more older, the uh, worse they rig. The ghost yeah. rigged this. Rigged. Like, but yes, I was going to watch it, it is indeed. And do this fact to fiction show. <laughs> rigged it. Rigged it. I rigged it. No, the ghost did. Oh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that one's fact. So let's go to video number three, man. That one was an interesting one, wasn't it? It was the dogs looking at the ghost in the middle of the night. Um, you deem this one fact. This one is indeed fact. Uh, everyone that I read, they agree this exact same thing you said. Uh, they all look in the same place that ghost is coming from, and they all take off the minute it kind of lands. Um, being that the film is a little blurry, it could uh, potentially open the fact that maybe that's how we saw that figure. Um, usually with a clear camera, it's mostly kind of... I mean, if you, you're lucky, you catch something. But this was actually blurry, so maybe it distorted a little bit to catch something. 
So yes, this one is indeed fact. So that's two for one. The dog sees ghost of the cemetery. You said fact. This is also indeed fact. Yeah. Three for one, man. Um, yeah, I mean the same thing. The dog is focusing on that that corner post the entire time. There's no one behind him. There's another another dog there because I know that was something that you brought up was the fact that if there was another dog there, it'd be different. But it's focusing on one place, and honestly, a cemetery is a likely place for a dog to see a ghost. Let's be real. That's my logic. Uh, and the last one, obviously, the ghost uh, that is terrorizing the two dogs in the house by kicking a door. Flipping some towels, distorting music, distorting video camera, which I don't think the dog cares for the last two, but um, you said fact. This is indeed fact. I don't yeah. see how they can really honestly do this, and it seems like the dogs have their attention on somebody. Um, they got, yeah. you know, obviously you got the music distorting and you got the video distorting as well. Um, and of course these paper towels flying by themselves. I know. I mean, I've seen a lot of string tricks in my life, but I don't really know how you can pull that one off. Mm. Um, so yeah, this one's indeed fact, man. So that is a four out of five for Logan. Congratulations. Redemption. Not a perfect score, but you got a bit better score than last time, right? It's perfect in my book. It's perfect in Logan's book, man. Um, what is that considered a B? Four out of five? Yeah. I'll take it. Pass um, it. With that Pass being it. said, <laughs> congratulations, Logan. Four out of five. Still good. I'm still. What do I win, for... Anthony? Oh, you won. Logan won. What? What do I win? Oh, um, you win uh, another um, opportunity. Unlimited to be... scammy feet picks. No. Well, if you want that, or you get an, uh, uh, you get an, another opportunity to to uh, appear in a Knights of Horror video. <laughs> it's a win win. Yeah. <laughs> You want an all-expense free trip to a Knights of Horror video of your choice. To the to the to my computer desk. <laughs> to for a Knights of Horror video of your choice. Um, no, I, I think it's good, man. It, it, this is a good show, fun show. So I'm waiting to find that one person who gets the perfect score, though. Who will it be? Will so it many be? episodes left. Uh, we're gonna go back and do maybe some redemptions like we did with here with Logan. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and we will see you guys real soon. You're moving into a different